Over the course of 11 months, I traveled to almost 40 countries across six continents. And looking back, what struck me overall was that what the majority of letter writers expressed was the impossibility of making any sense of warfare. I don't even know if I should tell you the things that happened over here because not too many of the guys write home about it. But the pressure just builds up in me, and I have to tell somebody. The sort of singular voice of each of these letters is really interesting because it's not something that you've read about or you hear anywhere else. So uh, when I opened it up and I started reading, it struck me how many experiences could have been lost without this and how the preservation of that seemed really unique and important. What Andy had to go through to actually find candid responses from soldiers, they are few and far between. You've got not only government censors reading these letters, but you've got the humor and the guards that the own soldiers put up on themselves. Before this all came about, I wondered if I would really be able to use my weapon against somebody else. I have no question now. I was very moved to hear about it and, and happy to be part of it and interested in hearing the letters, let alone to, to get to try to understand these amazing voices. We get to hear the voices of the people who experience these things and we get to know their perspective. It's important that there is no filter between us and them. And that's a beautiful thing uh, that, that I believe comes through in the, in the piece. There was much vulgarity in the letters. Some of them are obscene and show filthy and lewd dispositions. And I intend to send you a bundle of them as soon as the boys quit reading. Their experiences kind of transcend all of that, all of that political uh, uh, look at things. So it, it, it removes, it, it, makes, it makes it a human experience. Whatever frustrations they felt at not being able to fully convey the true nature of war, they kept writing. They wrote for themselves because it was cathartic. They wrote so the dead, the wounded, and the missing would never be forgotten. In writing American Sniper, my intention was to tell a very personal story about this guy and his journey. So I think the more personal these stories are, um, any war story, the more human the war becomes, and, and war is human, you know, the, the toll is man.